Learning a technology and working with it is usually different from writing about it. When you start writing a book, when you start putting a course material together, usually the level of interaction with the technology is way different from just working with it. Albert Einstein says, if you cannot simplify it, you don't know it well enough. And actually it's true. So when you start digging into something to simplify it so that anybody can understand, you come to a level of learning that you have never experienced before. So that's my experience with Microsoft Flow. And in the process, I discovered a good number of surprises. Some of them might be designer bugs. Some of them might be the things that I don't know how to use them. But I want to share one of them with you today. Hopefully, it will help you in the process. Let's see what it brings to us. The topic of this video is a bug in the Base64 to binary with the Flow Designer. This function is typically used to get the string and convert it to a binary string. Typically, this is what we do when we want to get a content and save it to a file, because create file usually works with a binary content. I'm not here to discuss about it. If you open this video, most probably you are searching for an issue or you want to see how this Base64 to binary works. It's very easy to use, but here's the surprise that you will see when you're using this. I go to Microsoft Flow, I click on My Flows, and I want to create a new flow. Instance from blank, and I call it Bug Demo. I click on From Microsoft Flow, and I click on Create. And let's say we get a text from the user. I give it a name, and I call it Test String. And on the next step, I want to convert this string to a binary string. So typically, we use Compose, for example, under data operation, we have compose. I want to get the value from this trigger and convert it to binary stream. So I click here, I go under expressions, and I use base64 to binary. Open the bracket, I click on dynamic content, and I get the test string from the flow. So far, so good. It looks nice. Base64 to binary, trigger body, text, so everything looks good. I click on OK, and it is created. Maybe on the next step, I want to do something else. Just simply send email. I really don't want to spend time on it. But, OK. SharePoint file lookup at outlook.com. And subject is going to be, for example, test. And I call it bug test. I really don't even want to run this flow. I just need to save it and show you what happens. So if I expand the compose, you will see that my base64 to binary is here. I can click on it, and you see base64 to binary is here. Everything as we did. So save. Again, everything is happily there even after saving. Now I get out of this my flows and I come to the same flow the next day. This time I click on edit and all of a sudden I see under compose I do not see my expression. Even if I click on it the expression viewer doesn't show me anything. While logically if there is an expression when I click on it I expect to see it here. What happened? Didn't it save it properly or it did? Here is the interesting part. If I click on this one and I go to peak code, to everybody's surprise, it has base64 to binary actually in the code, while when it goes to the designer, it doesn't really pick it up. So if you really want to work with it the next day, unfortunately, in Flow, you cannot go to the code and edit it or make any changes to it. This is read-only. Uh, unlike Logic Apps, 
but here the only thing you can do is if you want to make any changes you need to delete it and recreate it again if you don't see what you want here and you go to the peak code and you see that your base 64 to binary is there don't worry about it it works as it's coded not the way that it is displayed so this code perfectly works what we expect to see other than the next day when you come here you see what happened to my string to binary converter now Microsoft if you see this video please do something about it that was all about it I hope this video helped you save the time that I wasted to discover why the designer is not showing me the expression that I was looking for again thank you for watching and if you are new to Microsoft Flow please take a look into my Microsoft Flow crash course in Udemy that I put a link in the description. Have a wonderful day.